I'm recording this for Act of the Week a couple of weeks early. I'm sure everyone is having Christmas dinner or holiday dinner right now. This will be a quick one, and I want to apologize for the focus. You can tell the fo camera is focused on the head rail of the table, the word diamond, and the balls are out of focus. But I think the lesson in this rack is, is worthwhile. Let's, let's go through this one. It's going to be pretty quick, but I think there's a real good lesson. Let's get into the rack. Kind of a long distance from the break shot, so this is just going to be center ball. Nice medium stroke with a follow on the cue ball. Yeah, see the cue ball just kind of curved and went right to the bottom rail and came straight back up. Didn't try to overpower it because I was a ways away from the object ball. Just want to make sure I make the ball. And I'm calling the eight ball because I can shoot this five ball right out of here. And I think just a, a kind of a stun or roll forward is going to get the cue ball loose. And I'll have a ball hanging in the jaws, so I should be able to shoot it. And uh, turns out that's not the case. But I've got a very easy combination. I'm going to pause this real quick. Very easy combination here, so I want to preserve those balls, keep them near the pocket. Cluster of how many balls? Six balls, which happens all the time. Cluster of six balls in the rack area. Now, I didn't get an easy shot down below the rack here, so I'm going to have to shoot one of my potential break balls. Obviously, this could be a break ball but it's pretty high and far. This is an ideal break ball, but it's my only shot. So the decision I make, I want to make here is, do I just keep the cue ball down here and shoot this combination next, or do I let the cue ball go forward? I decide that I like these balls below the rack. I want to go above the rack. I, 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 now, I don't want to shoot the triple combination, although that's, that's fine because it's, you know, it's really not a triple combination because you can't miss that, that uh orange ball, all you got to do is shoot the four into it. But uh, I decide to play for the window between the four ball and the stripe right here. There we go, decision made. And if I come up short, then I'm sure I'll shoot the triple combination. But uh, th that was a good clean shot, didn't rail the ball. So I played the window, and now I'm looking at it, and I need to pause this again real quick. So I want to get a low angle. I could shoot a stop shot or even let the cue ball slide over a little bit, but I, there's a chance I can get hooked behind this stripe. I want to shoot the seven next. I'm exercising some patience. I'm, I'm not in a hurry to go into this cluster. In the old days, I might have hit this thin and send the cue ball right up into there, and that's a horrible shot. You, you want to do this with more control. Um, so I look at it and decide that rail first is the way to go because it's unmissable. Real softly at uh, shooting this rail first is going to send the cue ball right way down here on the bottom rail. Then I'll have that. I'll, I'll, I know I'm not going to get hooked behind this stripe, and I can I can uh, shoot this seven in and come out center table. So I'm looking at that, and I'm saying to myself, well. Wait a minute. <laughs> sure, I could. Well, I'm in the same situation. Sure, I could come out here and shoot the combination. I'm looking at can I shoot the seven and just hold the cue ball on this window and get. And I want to eliminate the ten. I don't want to shoot this combination with the four. Although it's an easy shot, I'm looking for something higher percentage. And I think I. Oh no, I am going to shoot the seven. Okay, where am I going now? So I'm going for the window again. So now I need. I just want to tap this in, and I'm going to shoot the 13 and come back around again. There we go. Now, what I wanted to do, I, I was kind of repeating the same pattern over and over. I shot a ball into this corner pocket, then a ball here and came around. I've done that a couple of times. And that was my intent here. I came up a little bit high. I wanted the cue ball down here because then it's easy to come past the shot line to the four. That's what I was looking at. Pass the shot line to the four, and then I've got my re-break situation right here. Going to have uh, the two ball or the one ball back this way. That's what I was looking at. I came too far. This is the key point of the rack. You've got to be able to make the decision here. You've got to be able. You've got to look at all of your options. So, if you're feeling nervous, you're like you're going to shoot this stripe and just draw the cue ball back into here. Try try and do something that's unnatural, but. I, I don't take very long to realize that the correct shot here 
is the 15 ball up in the corner. And when you've got a ball that's close to the rail, you've got an aiming guide. You can hit it soft, so if you brush the rail, it's going to go in. And now I can come off the rail and get the angle I want on the four ball. <laughs> and that's the reason why it's the right shot. The whole rack, I've been trying to get this angle on the four ball to go into the six. Preserve a shot on the two and, or the one. Just like that. Now, I hit that pretty hard, so I wasn't, well, this, this stripe, uh, slow down there, Bob. This stripe uh, came back and made a break ball, but it didn't necessarily have to. I hit that pretty firm. I wanted to make sure that they came loose and I'd have this angle on the two. And I, I'm going to this shot really quickly because I see it immediately, and I, I'm sure you see it as well. Just tap the two in, and I'm going to knock the one over here for a break ball and have this stripe back as an insurance ball. So the... the the lesson there was uh, similar to a couple of weeks ago, patience. Don't get over eager in, into uh, uh, getting into that central cluster. Do it intelligently and, and then keep your eyes open and, and shoot the right shot. So that 15 up in the corner was the right shot. And that was the key to the rack because from here it's just pretty, pretty standard. There's my break ball. The, the one tricky part here that I, I look at this for a little bit and think about is what's your key ball? We need an end pattern. All the, the rack solved, all the balls are open, I only have five shots left. This is my break ball without question. Now, there's no key ball here, so what's your best key ball in that situation? Um, and I believe that it's one of these two balls, the six or this stripe. The reason why is a lot of times people might think it's this one, and I used to do that a lot, but if you don't get just the right angle, like if you don't get perfectly straight into this side pocket to follow forward, or, or some other perfect angle, it, it just doesn't work out very well. Whereas, with the six or the 13, you can get an angle into this pocket and either come straight up to get on your break shot or come around it. I really, really like that, and if, if you need to, you can shoot out one of those balls in this pocket and you could come two rails around here, which I don't like very much, but it's much more controllable. Just go one rail like that to your break shot. So I think the six or this stripe are your best, best uh, key balls. There's nothing wrong with using this as the break ball and finding a different pattern, or this angle on this ball, you can go around. So I think those are your best options. So I decide Let's see what I decide. Yeah, so I'm going to get rid of this ball immediately. So what I'm seeing is kind of a circle that starts here on that ball and goes around this way. So that ball leads naturally to this ball. This ball needs, leads naturally to the 6 or the 13. Uh, the cue ball ended up a little bit high, so I'm going to the 13. That means this is my cue ball, so I want a shallow angle on this stripe. And that's all the thought that goes into that. So there's a nice shallow angle. And I'll be honest with you, what I'm trying to do here, the shot line to the six is here. I'm trying to come above the shot line and, and do that one rail route up to here. But I actually stroked it such that I stayed below. And now I do what I've talked about before. Let's, uh, oop, let me, let me, uh, let's go back and do that again. Right there. Let's see how I do. But this is really key, guys. Put your Q-tip on the table. Don't just pretend. Don't just look. Actually, physically, put your Q-tip on the table. It, it just sets in your mind that you exactly what you want. And now I can see this line. Let's see how well I execute that. It just makes it a really firm goal, a firm picture in your mind, and you just you can just shoot with a lot of confidence. How close did I come? Pretty darn close. Not exactly, but that is 99% in my book. That's ideal. So what are we going to do with this break shot? Very much, a, well, the cue ball is parallel to the object ball, but the ghost ball position's here. So it's actually an inside angle. That tells me I'm going to have more speed. Uh, I'm some good speed off the cue ball, and I don't need to blast this ball. This is a straight high ball. The cue ball is going to curve to the bottom rail, probably straight up, but it might go towards the side rail. Let's take a look. Nice and smooth. Not Don't blast. Oh, I, oh, 
never mind. Okay. <laughs> well, I think I was feeling really confident. That's the other way to shoot that break shot. Just this, just, that wasn't a draw stroke. Uh, let's go back there if I can. That, that was not a draw stroke. That was a stun. Uh, I was feeling very confident, and I decided I want to blast it. I don't recommend the way I shot this. I think the correct way is, is a high ball into the side of the rack and come out. But I was feeling good, and uh, I knew I was going to make this ball, and I wanted to open the rack wide. So I, I went ahead and did that. Now, that was not draw. The cue ball probably went into the top side of the second ball, and it's a, it was a stun shot up here because I hit it so hard. Let's watch it again. Let's see if that's the ball it hits. No, well, it hit the it hit the ball below that, the second ball, the ball above the corner. But uh, as, as you can see, I wasn't stroking low. Uh, that was a let's get back there. That was a, a carom, not a not a draw shot. But I hit it so hard that this is ideal. All the balls are wide open. One, two, three break balls. I'm definitely going to clear this rack up. So, happy holidays, Merry Christmas if you celebrate, and. Uh, I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.